Ah, uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Austria. Well, uh, great. Uh, I think I got it. Austria. Yep, that's it. That's definitely gonna be the intro from now on. So, guys, we're here back in the lovely episode where we're going to be declaring war on a little pathetic African nation. And I do say pathetic because they really can't do anything to stop me. I mean, they they could try. One hopes that everyone tries, but really, it's going to be a pretty big fail. So, enjoy that. Enjoy the loveliness of when we go destroy them. And transfer provinces, transfer... What? Did... Why do I have a transfer provinces event? Do I have, like... Let me see. Free the people of Flanders, Netherlands. Hmm. No, I wouldn't mind breaking up these guys. I just want to know, do they have any allies? Let's see. Because, you know, breaking up the Nether breaking up Belgium won't be that bad. I just... I just don't know. Do they have any allies I would have to deal with? Cordial, friendly... Because I really... Because that's... I, I don't mind breaking up Belgium. Belgium's actually a part of my sphere... Idea... You know, ideas. And breaking them up would not be that bad. So let's see. What do they have? Ah oh, dang! I hate I hate when countries are not in order. There we go. Belgium. Absolutely no one in this sphere. Absolutely no one friendly with them. Absolutely no one cordial with them. Yep, we're declaring war. <laughs> oh guys, you can free the Netherlands people. Hmm. That would give Netherlands a lot more advantage. Let's see. But let me make sure. Who do we want to free? Wallinger, Luxembourg. No, we don't want to free Luxembourg. Flanders. Netherlands. Netherlands would really like us if we did this to them. But do we want to do that to them? Actually, yeah, that is actually a part of my plan. I do want to kind of... Uh, in a sense, I do want to kind of like... But then again, I won't... You know what? You know what? You know what? Stop, stop messing around. Stop, stop it, James. Okay. Let's look at the nationalities. Okay, so this is where Flanders is going to be. This is where Wall Waldensian is going to be. So... Which one has the better resources? Well, Flanders is not going to be able to... Hmm. Honestly, I think... I think Wallian would be a much better, like, person to get. Because they're not going to be, like, that annoying. Okay, call in all my allies. Let's do this. Well, I still have nothing. I still have nothing. We can go attack them. And, at the same time... Let's start using our new army! Huzzah! Okay, um... Let's see, Prussia, I'm gonna need military access. They will accept, good. Give me a second, wait until... Prussia, we have good news. Give us military access. Everyone accepted, good, I didn't think they wouldn't. Let's go send these guys over here then. And let's go start the war that really... I have no real business starting, I'm just starting because... Well, actually, there is actually a point to this. This actually does tie into my, uh... You know to my whole entire sphere order. Since Bel Belgium usually has a hard time switching between being a really popular state and being a really not popular state, it's just a good idea to keep them um, divided. That way we make sure that they stay a really weak state but also a really strong state. Over here I am insanely worried about about if I'm gonna live. So is there anyone that would really love to be friends with me? Because you know this goes a long way for me not conquering you anytime quickly. Um. I'm, I'm almost uh, I almost think we should back off and I know I hate to admit it but it's it just doesn't seem very likely that I'm going to be able to get somebody that will want to like buddy up with me hey England hmm no they seem very content to hate me speaking of which while we're at the subject of content to hate me let's get France to stop hating me because you know what France is not supposed to be a hateful country towards me and the Bloom Berlin Expedition, send an Austrian expedition. We always send an Austrian expedition because we are like that. Okay, it seems like we are done with our original state of making it all happy and dandy. Move on to our next state to make some more bureaucrats. We're making a bureaucratic country and that's the way it's going to be. Yeah, get on Spock. We're going to try to make sure that all of this place is all underneath our control firmly and... This place is already 100%, so the next part after this is a probably going to move like right about here to get this to 100%. This is already a lot of south south of our people, and then I'm probably going to use that to get right here, and then we can have a solid base of, of people. Alright, let's get back to the war, though. 
Okay. War time. Um, they are sending a decent amount of troops. Um, we're gonna test out our troops here. We're gonna see if our troops are ready to deal with some big time powers, or if we're still too small to really do anything. This is really, this is, I guess this is really just a test right now. Okay, seems like our allies defeated whatever forces they did have. That's good. And we're moving in. First battle of the day. Let's see how we do. So far, the rolling numbers are 5-1. Basically, our artillery is going to be very... Ooh, artillery just... Damn it. Ooh. We demolished them, guys. Okay, so yeah, it was a good idea to keep that artillery build up. Definitely helped us in the long run. Going to stick some troops right there. Oh, no, this is going to be a smash. Watch this. And boom! Oh, such a smash. Like, and now I'm losing so many men. But that was a big smash right there. We completely crushed their army. Yeah, they're done for. Um, Let's make sure that we keep our soldiers. Let's see, how are we doing? Ooh, okay. We're going to have to quickly move to over here. Declare war right now. Um, I'm going to have this war going on separately. I don't, I don't really need to, but just keep it going. And... My troops right now, I don't really have to do anything with my troops right now because they're already doing some stuff. Yeah, let's see. These guys are moving quickly, quickly, quickly. We don't have much time before all my ships will die. Okay. And I don't really care about my ships die because ships are really easy to rebuild in this game. But I care about my soldiers die. My soldiers are really important to me. So let's just land our troops right there. Get all of them off the boat. Okay, they're doing at a, the sieging at a pretty good rate. They should be done a little bit. Over here, move up. Yeah, this is, this is basically, Belgium's over with. I've destroyed him. There's not much they can really do to stop me. It seems like they are trying to do some, like, cheeky tactics and move in a little bit. But it's not going to work. Okay, over here, um, almost, this siege is going to finish up sooner than the other two. So I'm going to first get this siege done with. Okay, got this. Now these guys should be starting to heal. That's good. Go invade over there. And crush that little army. This is going to be sad. I already know it. Yeah. I mean, they're at a tech disadvantage, and they have a numbers advantage. That's just, that that feels so terrible on me. Okay. But back over here, we have our two sieges done. These guys are going to go in, go crush these guys. These guys are going to go into the liege. Um, yeah, you better move back, Brussels. Yeah, look at that. That's not even competition. All right, there we go. Move in right here. Yeah, this is, I'm probably, I'm probably spelling the death of Brussels. Like, there's probably no way these guys are going to ever be able to recover. Especially if I make sure I keep good control over them. Okay, Wari wants a peace. Annex Wari, fine. There we go. We got our good start of our African colonialism. Over here, though, our bureaucrats are finished up. So let's let's switch them over. We move focus. And let's move over to where again? Um, We could probably move over to over here. Because it seems like the most... This is probably going to take a little bit longer, too, because it's not, like, straight-up stuff, but it'll be interesting to see how that goes out. Okay, over here, though, go right here, go destroy them. Um, yeah, th this is just annoying troops. I'm not even going to try to deal with them. Uh, yeah, because they're, they're not going to be able to do anything. Go right here to Brussels, go directly to the capital, siege them up. Um... Oh, it seems like... Oh, I see. Okay, it seems like Netherlands is taking advantage of this opportunity. That's good. They have the good idea, but... And Netherlands is being supported by England. Oh, no. Um... Okay, since they're going to do that, and since they are supported by England, um, I'm actually going to back off. A lot of people are going to be like, What? But you declared war on them. Well, yes, but at the same time... At the same time, if if Netherlands annex Belgium, this could actually create a better position for them. And if these guys... Look, I'm just thinking long terms and borders wise, this would be much nicer to have in Netherlands right here. So, um, Belgium, you got lucky. Well, I shouldn't say lucky. You guys got, well, peace wise. Well, actually, hmm. But then again, I want to make sure my interests are protected. And I do like the I do like the coal and the iron right here. You know what? Belgium, we're gonna end the war. It was a good war, but it's time for us to end it. Here we go. 
where we go. We got a new little vassal. Alright. Let's start getting militaristic. Let's go start getting some engineers and stuff working. Um, we should probably move up clean coal next time. Uh, idealism is still not re being able to research yet. So fine. There we go. So there we go. We freed. Do we freed the Wallinian people? They are now a part of our sphere. Probably gonna invest just a tiny fraction of bit into them. And now, people, Serbia, we can now do what we want to do, which is moves all of this. One. We're gonna do this to the Russian Empire. Expel advisors. So that means. That means. Ah, dang it! It's not what I thought it meant. I thought that meant it would completely like change the language, but apparently not. Allied with Wallenia, sure. Because we want to make sure that once Belgium is annexed, we want to make sure that these guys are completely protected over here. Um, send my men back across the, not sea, but the land bridge somewhere, something. Alright, and send these guys back to our original colonies. I'll keep... We don't need to keep that much down here. Like, it honestly doesn't need to keep that much. And the Whistle Tour! So everyone that doesn't know what the Whistle Tour is, this is basically... Basically, I'll let you guys read the event when it pops up. So with the advent of railways in our nation, the idea has been suggested that our march toward the nation, traveling from city to city by train. Some search caution, however, for such public appearances could cause assassinations with opportunity to strike and purposes that are sharing with rebellion. But basically what this does is give me like a 10, 10 prestige bonus, almost instantly. Like I don't even have to do anything, it gives me 10% bonus, and that is nice. Like I can't even tell you guys how nice that is. And let's see, are you guys docked up? You guys start increasing fort levels over here and build like one soldier yeah I don't care if they're regulars just build one soldier and we're gonna bring our actual good f army back yes I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have t two armies of good sections my colonial army and my actual good army so that there that was my good army right now we're also gonna have to fix our economy again because usually just after a war it, it usually has to recover so let's do a 76 decrease in terms of power um, and Netherlands should be able to smash up all this land, should be able to annex everything. It'll be really cool to see that, actually, to see United, to see United Netherlands. Um, but just to make sure that we protect our own interests, because these guys might actually become a great power, which is why I did not completely give them all the land, but I basically gave them Belgium. So, that's good. Um, you guys over here... Let's see, you guys have five infantry. Let's see, how many regular infantry do we have? Two. We have two regular infantry. Okay. Well, then we'll start. I think Leonard Trunk. This guy's pretty good. So I think I'm going to have his army be the main Austrian army. So let's just rename this the main, main Austrian. Uh, I don't know how to spell Austrian. Uh, Austrian, <laughs> no, that's not it. Okay, uh, first army. You know what? We're just gonna name it my, my army, my army. Yeah. So my army is gonna be the first army that we're gonna that we're gonna use, and we're gonna start deleting some of our uh, more militia-ish men and start making a proper army. Um. So yeah, you guys go away. You guys go in. Let's see. We also need to create like one more soldier. Yeah. And do we need any hussiers? No, we don't need any hussiers. All right. So then, yeah, we're basically good. <laughs> Look, welcome to the first moves of the game, everyone. Where all this diplomatic intrigue is coming up, and apparently the conservatives are losing power. I don't exactly like that idea, but it's not exactly bad. Okay, lavish expedition, another great event that only gives you positive events for money. That is a really good event right there. The national conference. Um, yeah, I could do that because I already, I already gained like free 25%, 25, you know, stuff. Get that right there. So now we got a pretty even bat, a pretty even army. That's not exactly good, but it's not exactly bad. Okay, let's see. My other troops are also heading home, which is good. And now that we're, we still have to deal with Serbia's stupidity. Okay, just finish off with that. We want to get all of Serbia done with. And decrease opinion of Russia. Is that what I meant to do? Yes! Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now that we decreased opinion of Russia, we can now stop doing anything with these guys. I don't really care about Serbia anymore, basically, is what I'm saying. 
And now what we're going to do... Oh, that's, <laughs> that's so sad. Okay, now what we're going to do is start getting some of our other interests out of here. And let's see, how is the Great Powers looking right now? Just so I know who to invest in, who not to invest in. Bavaria is probably going to become a Great Power. That's not good. Uh, but... It looks like Spain is safely within the non-Great Power region. So we're going to try to start influencing Spain to become like us. Let's see. So we'll start influencing them just a little bit. Um, and then also Portugal. Portugal is also going to be another one we're also going to try to influence just a little bit. Let's see. Does that really does prevent... Uh, that does kind of divide everything. So let's just work on Cardinalist Spain because Cardinalist Spain is a bigger person. And let's continue with our game. So let's see. We have clergymen just finished up in one of our regions right here. Um, gonna remove them from the focus. We're gonna move over to to our most populated places. So Galicia, Montana. We're going to start educating the people. So let's start going right there. And let's see how many clergymen are there. Not very many. That was actually a good place to put them because we have to really increase this uh, literacy rate right here. And we are slowly starting to do that, which is really good. In terms of central people right over here, we're slowly starting to convert all the uh, central people to our ideals. Like, right, let's put a little bit more emphasis on on our government just for a little bit. Like, 94%. That way they have full funding. And how much does that go up by? That goes up by a lot of turn. So, yeah, if we can get this to fully 100%-ness, that'd be really nice. Um... In terms of taxes, though, I'm starting to get a little bit worried about taxes, so I'm going to decrease them slightly. Ooh, that may be, put, that may be too, too, much, too much strain on my economy. Put back up. There we go. All right. Whew! We're doing pretty good. Apparently, there's some sirens in the background. You guys can't hear it, but there are some, and they're pretty loud. Ow. Okay, over here. We'll send this unit over there. You guys, um, I'm basically going to have you guys split up. Have you guys go over here, and then we're also going to make some new Hussier units. Yeah, build like two Hussier units, and there we go. Yeah, we're ready. I feel like with that war, we kind of tested our abilities, and we kind of realized what we can do. So, I feel very confident in a war against another great power. And then this is just, this is just me, my, this is what I did. <laughs> I can't really describe it any other way. Um, anyone investing points in these guys? No, they are not. Um, decrease our opinion with them, uh, increase our opinion with France, because France is now not hating us, which is good, because I want to make sure I be become friendly with France, for like the most part, because France is usually a pretty good ally, especially with the massive amounts of troops, but just in case if they betray me, I want to make sure I have somebody else, Ah, no, this is me, this is, this is my land, isn't it, wait, wait, no, it's not my land, what, whose land is this? Uh, oh, oh, I, I know what's happening here. So, neither of them wanted to give up on this land right here. Uh, I shouldn't have to join this crisis because it's not on my continent. Oh, no, no. Wait, that's, uh, I shouldn't, I sh okay, that's pretty stupid because I shouldn't have to join this crisis because it's not on my continent. But apparently they're going to make me choose sides. So, yes, we are interested in this. Let's hope America just backs out because they think the, the Russian military is too much. So who's everyone siding with? UK, uh, America, uh, America, uh, UK, UK, and then me. All right, so so this is actually a pretty de this is a pretty like balanced fight right now. It's it's going to be it's going to be like a toss up. Like, if there's, if there's any word for it, it's going to be a major toss-up. Like, there is no clear, definitive winner here. I mean, we could have America come out and come out the stronger party, and then we'll side with them, or we could have the other people come out the stronger party and side with them. But, basically, we're going to have to think of this very strategically, because we don't want to end up having to fight, like, all of Prussia by ourselves. That would be pretty stupid. But, if, we, if the opportunity does arise, we should probably, we should probably um, think about it, because... If, let's see, Bo, ooh, only people choosing Russia side, this, this is going to be a pretty balanced, a pretty balanced, like, thing, I'm waiting until France decides, if France decides the UK, then, 
I'm definitely going to have to choose this side, because that's just way too many people I would have to fight on my own. But, ah, uh, yeah, because this, this is a pretty, wow, this is a pretty tense, like, diplomatic setup right now. Like, we don't, there's no clear winners, and apparently established bureaucracy is finished up here over here. Remove focus, we're also going to go right here then. Because this is the next logical point. And I want to thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time.